Hey guys, and welcome back to the Acne Channel. My name is Lavinia Rosanda, and today we are going to be talking about skinimalism. Now, if you haven't heard of this and you're like, you definitely made that up, trust me, it's a real thing, and we're going to be diving into it today. I'm going to be talking about what it is and why you should maybe get on this brand new trend when it comes to your skincare routine. I feel like this is definitely one of the newest trends when it comes to skincare. And you know, trends come and go all the time, and especially when it comes to skincare, I'm like, guys, maybe these trends aren't the best. Some of the things I see on TikTok, I'm like, oh, please, no. But this one right here is actually one I wanted to discuss further because I think it might be actually something that a lot of people may benefit from and something a lot of people should actually consider more when it comes to their skincare routine. So first of all, skinimalism, what is it? So think, you know, skin from your skincare routine and minimalism, put it together, you have skinimalism. And basically what this is, is making your skincare routine more minimalistic, you know, dialing it down to just a few essential steps um, and not having like this 20 step skincare routine every day that is actually not really needed. Yeah, top secret information right there. And as a skincare guru here, I love all things skincare. I love my serums, I love my treatments, I love my masks, I love it all. I may not be one to really talk because the amount of skincare I own is absurd, but I still think this is a very important topic and one I personally preach myself all the time. So I feel like especially in this generation with all the social media, we often feel like we need a 30 step skincare skincare routine just like the ones we see on Vogue or from different influencers to really get great skin you know including exfoliators serums face oils essences toners masks eye creams um, a bunch of different tools rolling tools a microcurrent moisturizers SPF and many many more in these very extensive and um, multi-step skincare routines so we see this all on social media and we think that we also need these skincare routines and overall we're a generation of um consumers we like to have a lot of stuff and if you're a skincare addict like me you also probably have a lot of steps in your skincare routine now in reality this is really not needed and you may only need a few steps in your skincare routine to actually have a good and effective one and that's really what this whole skinimalism idea preaches. I personally really am behind this trend and I really like it because I think it's very important. Not only are we a generation of consumers, but we're also a generation of over exfoliators. And oftentimes what I see on my social media when I'm, I'm watching people's skincare routines is I see a lot of overdoing, overdoing um, cleansing, over exfoliating is a big one. We love to use all the chemical peels and physical scrubs and all of that on our face all at once. Um, and although those can be great treatments separately, I don't think they're all needed at once. And oftentimes when we're trying to get good skin by using all these products, we can actually be overloading and overworking our skin and actually getting worse results than we want. Because if you're doing too much to your moisture barrier, you can in fact strip it. And if you have a stripped moisture barrier, you're kind of in trouble. You're losing that barrier that your skin naturally has. And and you can do this by over stripping your skin from over cleansing, even over exfoliating. You also risk the potential of getting a um, certain skin reaction by using too many products and too many different ingredients at once that may clash that you may not know about. So overall, you know, making sure that you're keeping your active straight and you're not using too many steps can be a really good idea. I talked about all the bad in having too many products in a routine. So is less better? Well, yes, a hundred percent percent yes so now you may be thinking okay i'm on board i like what you're saying i like this skinimalism idea but what should my skinimalism routine include overall you only need two products in your skin minimalist routine yep only two remember those like 30 routine steps we were talking about yep we are down to two steps and that is a good cleanser and an spf and really this is because you know if you wear makeup um or you know 
just throughout the day your skin produces sebum it collects dirt and bacteria you want to be having a cleanser at the end of the night just to rinse that off and cleanse your face thoroughly as well as cleansing it from any sunscreen you should have applied throughout the day and that's where your second step of your routine comes in sunscreen is by far the most important skincare step in any routine because SPF is going to help with really any skin issues you're trying to target as much as I love the Sun it can be very damaging to the skin although UVB rays are what cause burns in your skin UVA rays are actually what cause premature aging in your cells so if you're trying to use skincare to make your skin look youthful um, and you know glowy and plump SPF is your first step and if you have acne and acne scarring you also want to be using SPF to make sure that your scars and pigmentation do not worsen so really with these two steps you have an effective and good skincare routine now what if your skin maybe desires a bit more out of your routine but you still want to keep it very minimal this is where I would recommend adding a few more um, steps in so let's say you have dry skin you can can find a SPF that also doubles as a moisturizer that maybe has some hyaluronic acid or glycerin in there to act as a humectant to kind of hydrate your skin okay you have dry skin you dealt with that but let's say you want something more maybe you want something that will help with fine lines well SPF will help prevent that but maybe you want something more just help with texture or you have a few fine lines and you want to just have a light exfoliator to help with that you can definitely add these steps in or maybe you have some pigmentation that you're trying to deal with you can even add some of these ingredients that will help into your cleanser to help with that um, like a salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide will help with acne or if you get a cleanser with some um, AHAs in there to help exfoliate the skin lightly but overall cleanser does not really sit on the face for that long so maybe you want a step that would kind of sit on your skin overnight and do that work for you therefore I would um, recommend a toner or a serum you know if you have acne prone skin uh, get a toner or serum with salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide in it but if maybe you're targeting uh, pigmentation you can get a serum with niacinamide or a vitamin c serum vitamin c also pairs amazing with spf so uh, there you go those are just some ingredients you can add in to kind of uh, target those specific skin concerns so from there you only really need a cleanser step a treatment step whether that be in the uh, toner form or a serum form or you have that treatment within your cleanser um, or moisturizer and then an SPF for me I like including my moisturizer separate from my SPF because I do like to have a thicker moisturizer at night and obviously I'm not applying SPF when I'm going to bed so I do like to keep that step separate since I do test so many skincare products oftentimes I break my own rule of preaching skinimalism and I often use too much on my skin and what I do to kind of recover for that is go back to the basics strip it down to a cleanser moisturizer and SPF for about a week or so and I often find that really really helps my skin kind of jump back and kind of resolve that overdoing I may have done from using too many products at once that's really what skinimalism is that's how you can incorporate into your routine and really everything you need to know about this new skincare trend I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you have any questions that I did not address please leave them down below in the comments and if you want to see more content from me you can find me basically on everything at Lavinia Rosanda but thank you guys so so much for watching this video if you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the acne channel and also turn on our post notifications so you get notified every single time we upload a new video we hope you're having a fantastic day or night whenever you're watching and we'll see you in the next acne channel video bye guys